So hello guys, in this video we will look and uh, make from this head, we'll make this one. And of course I will explain a lot of things and maybe you should watch this video a couple of times, practice then watch it again, because from just one watch in this video you probably won't be able to kind of get all of the little things that I will tell you and big also about uh, how to make a good female head. It's not the best, but it's kind of good for one hour of sculpting, even maybe less, I'm not sure. This to this. Let's start. So guys, in the beginning we will start by analyzing what we have, what head we have. And yeah, let me tell you, uh, I got this head from a student, I don't know exactly who he was. I searched for it in the mail, so stuff, but I received a lot of mail, so I'm not sure. But the idea here is that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we will try to improve from this. So many of you probably would have uh, such heads lying around. So what you can do is uh, analyze it. What's wrong and what is not wrong. I will analyze it for you now first. So <clears throat> in the beginning, let's start by looking at it from the top. We notice that the ears are they are kind of here. They are not here, they are here, just behind. And also what we notice is from the top, the head in the back here is wider and here should be like smaller or narrower. And let me show you. Here it should be wider and it should get narrower in this area. It's almost like an egg shape in this space here. But uh, in this case, it's a little bit uh, other way around, another way, or the other way around. So we have to fix this. Also the ears from the side, the beginning of the ear should be in the middle of the skull from the side. Uh, now they are too much back. So we will move them forward. Uh, also the lips, they seem like, like this, it's not very natural. It's, um, it's not super natural. It's like, like this, it's, you have to, uh, put them back a little bit and also the nose is pretty wide maybe the nose is a little bit too high or the eyes are a little bit too low because they are pretty close together you see if you see my face uh, the nostrils are ending in here and there is kind of a big distance between the eye and the nostril of course it's not super big but I think it's bigger than one eye and here it's around one eye distance it's even less in our case, it's it's a big a little bit, a little bit bigger than one eye width. So, so if we take the eye, for example, is from here to here. It's pretty big in this case, and this distance, if we move it down here, so the nostril should start around this area. For example, if it's one eye, uh, uh, it's maybe in some people it's one eye. In in some people, the eyes are bigger, so it's kind of one eye in some people eyes are smaller but whatever so we analyze the thing kind of uh, and we will start also also the ears so the ears pretty importantly they shouldn't be like extruded from the from the head just and uh, leave it like this you have to always push this area the back push it inward so you have kind of they are hanging like satellite dishes they have to be and uh, also the ear always, I always say the ear is important. And uh, you will say that the question is uh, why? Why are they important? And you will be right because the question is why? Let me show you. Again, the question, this is the shape of the ear, is why? We have the why shape in here. So question mark and then why in here. We don't have the why now, but we will make it. With the standard brush, I will just go and make it. Let's go to the standard brush and make it like so. So if you want, and the Y will kind of go and um, dive into the shape of the question mark. So the question mark here is the border of the, of the ear. And then they kind of meet in this area with the Y. And they come together here and uh, they form also I mean, here this shape 
little kind of dot. And this is basically the shape of the earth from the side. But here you see a lot of issues. We have this is going inward. These jagged edges are very, very bad. You have to always avoid them and fix them if you can. So these jagged edges in sculpting, mm, these kind of curvy lines uh, that are not good. We are not kind of dictating what kind of shape is that. Uh, it just happens. Excuse me when I'm doing this from my nose because it's a little bit cold here and my nose is a little bit kind of leaking. But it's not a problem at all. So, uh, yeah, the ears and overall shapes when we're sculpting has to be smooth. Especially in the female sculpting like we're doing now, they have to be pretty smooth. So, let's go from the up upper part of the head and just make the back of the head bigger and the front a little bit smaller so yeah you have to be careful by the way i'm telling you those things the back of the head bigger the front of the head small but don't make it like super small front head and big uh, because it will be like an alien looking shape we have to be aware of those things but we have to use them moderately and uh, uh, we have to kind of observe and to learn to observe of course we need practice and i will tell you something by the way that i've noticed when I'm working today, for example, and I'm doing practicing, I'm practicing and I'm doing like uh, six heads for today. Uh, each head took me about a half an hour or something. Uh, and I'm starting to get better at sculpting and at making heads because I'm practicing, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, next day, first head that I'm starting is way worse than the first head of yesterday. You know? The next day, I'm worst because I haven't had the chance to warm up or something like this. So we have to always warm up in the middle, in the beginning. And uh, even for me, I need some exercise before I start doing good things. So next, from the side view, we have to move the, the ear forward. So it's kind of in the middle if, if the head is from here to around here. The middle will be here. So yeah, this will be the hole of the ear and the ear will be back from this point, around this. Uh, also the jaw, we have to be careful not to make it too sharp like this. We have to make it kind of smooth. And uh, yeah, there will, there will be other things. Also, the eyes, the eyeballs now, let me show you what the eyeballs are. They're ultra big. I mean, if we go transparency and let's see where is our head now, because I have other heads that I have done. This is our head. Uh, let's put it on. Let's see our eyes. Wow. So be very careful about the eyes. The eyeball should kind of fit into the width of the head around six, six and a half times, not more than that. The eye itself which is consistent of uh, kind of this uh, angle of the eye here and everything. The eye itself, when we draw from the front and when we sculpt also, has to uh, go into the width of the head five times, but the eyeball is smaller than that. The diameter, the diameter of the eyeball is smaller, so I will kind of take the eyeball and make it smaller, much, much smaller. So if you make your eyeballs very big, it will affect your whole face, the whole face. The, it will affect your eyes and around the eyes and everything, it will be affected by that. For example, uh, here, what we're noticing, let's move this forward a little bit. What we're noticing is from the side view that our, our upper eyelid is behind. You see, let me show you. The upper eyelid is here and the lower eyelid is going forward, which is never the case. I mean, the lower eyelid should be around here. So the upper eyelid here, the lower eyelid behind it a little bit. This and the eye should be here. So uh, we have to kind of know these things. We have to uh, make them. Also, the nose maybe has to go a little bit more inward and then outward like this. You see, we will make that. There are, of course, races like uh, Indians or some other races that 
maybe they will have this kind of nose. But the idea here is to make attractive female. I'm not saying that the, uh, this nose cannot make attractive female. There are cases that this could be very attractive, but the idea is that this will be difficult to make um, kind of, for example, uh, a nose like this for a female to look attractive will be way more difficult to kind of fix up all the other things so this will look attractive than, for example, this kind of nose. This kind of nose is uh, very much easier to make attractive. And my goal here is to teach you kind of more easy way to make your uh, sculpts more attractive. And when we sculpt, most of the time we want to make attractive females. And that's what, what is this about. To make, him, to make them right, right forms, and attractive. Because unattractive, it's very easy to make. You just make the sculpt and don't follow any anatomical rules and it will be pretty unattractive. So it's easy. But attractive is much harder. So we have to be aware of that. Also here I have behind the ear and above the ear I have a little bit of a bump. And then I will go with the, with the down standard brush and just fix around the ear. So for the ear we will have a little bit more work. But the thing that uh, you have to begin with, probably, when you are, uh, for example, making your own feedback on your own sculpts or revisiting your own sculpts, your old sculpts, what you can do is, for example, let me see. So this topology is bad. You see very small polygons around the eyes uh, and all of them are kind of a triangular polygons, very big polygons here around the nose. So the guy was using uh, Sculptus Pro for this. You don't need to use Sculptris Pro that much. Most of the time you should stick to Dynamesh. And now I will Dynamesh it to a resolution around 200, 240 for example, or 250 because I think for this, this resolution will kind of keep all the details, although we don't need to keep them, but we will keep them in order for me to fix them. So you can see that. So I will Dynamesh. So most of the details are here, but now the topology is much better. Everything is much better. So Dynamesh is your friend here. Uh, also, what we're noticing here is the nose. We don't have this kind of thing where the nose meets the upper uh, lip part in here. We have to kind of have uh, a good transition there. A nice, sharp transition will be fine. And of course, the lips are too much forward. We need to put them back. I was about to put this, uh, I mean, to leave this a little bit more to the end, but let's make it now. So, from the bottom part, we see the lips, they can have a little bit more curvature. So, I will just push back this outer lip and the lower lip also, I'll make it a little bit bigger. So, I always say that the lower lip should be smaller than the upper lip and should go, so if the upper lip is like, let me show you, if the upper lip is like this, and it's here. The lower lip should start a little bit from here. But this part, especially this part of the lower lip, uh, it should be pretty much uh, blended with the rest. There shouldn't be too much of a, of a thing going on there. A little bit, but not too much. And here you will have the main kind of a contrast. And also, for the lips to be fuller, you need to kind of make it a little bit more full in here, fuller, but I will show you that. So, for the lips, okay, let's pull the upper lip a little bit, and for the bottom part here, I will add a bit of a mm, meat in there, and then below the lower lip, I will push and make a sharp, and then smooth it. So, for, for the female, we always do some things, for example, let me show you from the nose down around the, the mouth, I do this and then I smooth it. And then we have kind of, um, why do I do it? It's almost nothing happened, but it's happened. There is a little bit of a, um, a thing going on there now. And also I will kind of add more meat in here above the uh, upper lip. Why? Because above the upper lip, it was like this. It was like this. And this is rarely the case. I mean, especially uh, maybe here, it could be like this. But in here, it already starts to 
uh, to strengthen and now in this area it could be always uh, it, it could be even in in the other way around just a little bit more bump and yeah and um, when I'm kind of feeling doubts about the mouth or everything I always kind of add a little bit meat around the corners of the eyes of the mouth and then smooth it and most of the time it fixes it but the thing is that in order to make a classical kind of a beautiful female face we need to do a couple of things from the profile first we need to pull the the neck a little bit forward so we're pulling the neck and making it sharp this transition here to be a little bit sharper and I will flatten this bottom part and you see how we get this triangle here this triangle is pretty important and then the neck is down so uh, make sure you have that and also the upper lip will always be on top and in front of the lower lip so I will push the lower lip back and also I will just uh, connect them by inflating just inflate brush and we connect them and now it's kind of good of course they are still going too much forward it, it, it's still like this a little bit so what we can do is a little bit just push back all the mouth just push it back nothing too much also push back the the, the chin and also we can push back around the mouth in here and add a little bit even here in the bottom part and now you see it's starting to look a little bit nicer I tend to do this so if I want fuller lower lip because the upper lip is okay but the lower lip has to be fuller it's now a little bit flat I don't know if I made it flat or it was flat I just add with the standard brush just little by little add until I have these two parts of the lower lip and in the middle we have this kind of a thing of course it could be smaller so I can smooth it even but it's okay so in my other monitor I'm not looking only to myself in uh, in OBS because I'm recording this with OBS I'm not only looking myself and my very beautiful face almost femaleish face in OBS I'm also looking at references and especially this one so I wrote female face in uh, Google and I got all these faces and I can kind of choose where to look I can choose to look at this eye here and you see eye width and then if you take this eye width and pull it down it will go to the uh, around the beginning of the nostril so we were right about it so uh, kind of thick eyebrows pretty good looking and this is kind of an average beautiful female face as it says in here and it looks beautiful yes it's super symmetrical which uh, symmetrical is not always um, super attractive but it's beautiful it's most of the time it's beautiful symmetric symmetry also what I notice here is we have too, too big of a back part of the skull so I will just dial it down you have to always kind of try to experiment for example from this direction I see that my cheekbones are pretty much pronounced so I will just push them with the move brush and out we can push uh, along the normal and it will push them a little bit then now she's uh, too much of a rounded face she has this is too much childish so we have to fix that also but uh, also uh, you will notice now how it will all change if we just move the nose down a little bit if we move the nose down and mouth also and mouth back and now it looks a bit better kind of also the nose is too wide in this upper part here so I will just move it in like this and I will move the nostrils also and now she's kind of starting to get there of course it's uh, a long way uh, we have um, a lot of time to kind of fix most of the things but it's kind of getting there also what I like to do is to move this um, part down this also and this up you see I'm trying to get this kind of a M shape of the mouth but not too much that there has to be kind of a you know you have to be careful with that 
don't do it too much. Too much is always going to ruin your thing. You have to be careful. You have to do it um, step by step. You have to be careful. Also, we'll get like this. And uh, by showing you uh, the references, yeah, these are kind of almost parallel to each other. But in the top, they are a little bit closer to each other. They are not exactly super parallel. And don't make them super... Uh, I mean, I've seen some kind of this. Uh, it's uh, it could be, but it's more most likely not. So be careful. Uh, what I was about to say, I forgot, but I will maybe, yeah. I'll maybe remember it at some point. So for the nose, what I like to do is uh, to make it a little bit more stylized. How? So I like to make a plain area in here just uh, on the nostrils on the bottom part of the nostrils i like to make them plain the sides also a little bit of a plane and then here in the front we'll make these two planes and now the nose starts to look that it has some structure and it always has structure so it have to be we have to be careful about that and here is the most pronounced kind of indentation here in the bottom part of the nostrils and in the top it kind of goes away, it kind of, we can smooth it a little bit, but in the bottom, they should be kind of in, like they are. Also, always avoid this kind of thing. I have here now just a little bit of um, irregular surface, we have to smooth it. We have to smooth those irregularities because they look like uh, she has a mustache or something, and they're just spoiling our beautiful work, if it is a beautiful work, of course. If it's not, they're not spoiling anything because we are uh, pure shit. Oh, <clears throat> no, of course, we're the best. So, for the upper part of the nostrils, I like to ma uh, to spread them apart a little bit. So, uh, one of the main mistakes is that uh, people are making this. And this doesn't look good, most of the time. So, I will always spread apart and the nostrils themselves, they will be kind of, even even we can make it like this straight down and but not exactly yeah we we need to make some nostrils it's it's fine to have some nostrils it's fine i like to have nostrils nostrils and then we'll have this kind of thing here which is also uh, the front part of the nose which in most cases is a little bit more uh, wide in my case also you can see and i also have this kind of cut in the middle which we also can do but we have to be careful not to do it too much yeah, I did it a little bit too much. It could be there, but barely visible. And sometimes those things are the most, the nicer, the nicer things. Also, never do this. Like this and leave it. It will ruin your work. You will always have to smooth. And the general shape should follow this line. Let me show you. So, from the top of the ear around here, down to the mouth. And then I will dig this bottom part a little bit but don't do it too much everything is just a little and then i will smooth but when i make this shape it's kind of looking a little bit more attractive and then i can kind of add more shapes around the mouth more meat around the mouth and then even flatten it with my high polish brush and the high polish brush by the way is amazing it's uh, one of the most useful brushes i can do a sharp line like this just to stylize it a little bit, just to make it look more nice. And it will be amazing. So, for the chin, uh, maybe we can kind of make it a little bit like, let me show you. Chin has to be small. And then, here, not a straight line, but the line should go a little bit like this. The straight line will work, by the way. It will be a stylized, and also it will be... Um, kind of good looking yeah it will be like a model 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 <laughs> because this is a model uh, uh, now i see here in the side view uh, when we rotate i always look for my um, for the outer lines of my model and here i see that uh, we have to kind of push it a little bit more inward it shouldn't be that pronounced we should be careful with that with all that bumps and stuff we should be very careful. Now she's look she's looking like a child mostly. She's not looking like a 
super beautiful uh, lady and something. But the eyes, we have a lot of problems. Not a lot, by the way. It's ki they're kind of fine, but we have some problems around the eyes. So first, I would like to move the eyes maybe a little bit more up. And, um, in, and also push them a bit in. And also I'll push this a bit in, the nose, like this. And also I'll push the nose here. And the nostrils shouldn't be that far forward. We should have this kind of a area in here, in front of the nostrils. So yeah, I know there are a lot of things that I'm telling you here, just for a short amount of time. So probably, as I always say in my anatomy tutorials, especially in the last one, for the, for the male anatomy that I made, Superhuman Anatomy course. Uh, you should watch this course or this video even uh, a lo lot of times, not just once and say, okay, I know it. No, uh, it should be. Watch it once, do your own model even while watching it, then watch it again and stuff like this. You shouldn't just uh, watch it once and say, okay, I know it already. There are a lot of information here. I'm flattening now this. And if I want to make it more femaleish, not so childish, I will have to push those uh, cheekbones a bit, those cheek fat, push this also. Maybe the neck should be thinner, it's okay. And the head overall should go a bit more thin, a bit more in this direction. So uh, now my face looks kind of good. I mean, I like how she turned out a bit. But the idea is that if your face looks something like this, I will show you just uh, just demonstration. If your face, yeah, just uh, bear with me here. If your face looks something like this, which could happen. So uh, look what I've done here. I just selected the face features, eyes, nose and mouth, just uh, selected them with mask and just ma made them smaller. And now the head is big and the face features are small. This is super common mistake. So you just have to uh, mask them, invert the mask and then scale them a little bit. Then see what happens if you like it or not. Scale them again or do something. Most of the time people will kind of uh, kind of fix the eyes, nose, mouth ratio. They are kind of fixed, but around the face, it doesn't look good. So you have to kind of either increase the size of the mouse node uh, nose thing or decrease the size of it or decrease the size of the head if you want. But we should also avoid this kind of a sharp cheekbones for the male, uh, for the female. Sharp is not good. We need to have more meat in here. And you should, you can inflate it here. You can admit it like I'm doing it. You can do whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm doing both. I'm sometimes adding meat by uh, by my clay toothbrush, just adding and then smoothing. Sometimes I'm adding by just uh, with dumb standard brush or standard brush, not dumb standard, no. But uh, around the eye, always kind of fix your upper eyelid like this. Always have this kind of uh, crease over the upper eyelid. And this crease here is okay. But in here, we have to have uh, fat. It's, it's gone here. The fat is not here. It's, it's kind of around this area from here. And it's more pronounced around the side of the eye here, this fat. But we have to be careful not to do it too much because from the side view, it can kind of go and bulge too much here and it will not be natural. It shouldn't bulge too much. We should push it even a bit. Okay, from the bottom view, if you have this kind of eyebrows for a um, female, you should dial them down. You should kind of uh, push them with a high polish brush and just make this kind of things, this kind of plane. So one plane here, one plane here, one plane in here, and uh, we can smooth them, of course. And let's kind of make the eyebrows, the bottom part of the eyebrows, it will be here. And the eyebrows themselves will be around like this. Something like this. I mean, they could be more like this. 
yeah so this uh, where the eyebrow is going and then falling down is more on the side yeah I'm in, yeah I'm not even the best in this but uh, still I'm pretty fast <laughs> that and I hope I can explain it nicely so around this area we have problem it's too much in so I will kind of fill this area a bit with meat and then smooth it and we will kind of have this beginning of this crease but then I'll smooth it and it's just the beginning we will not uh, continue this crease this crease is very bad to continue it except if you want to make an old person if you want to make an old person continue it be my guest don't worry about it at all but otherwise if you want to make a young beautiful uh, full lips and everything don't do this not that it had something to do with the lips, but whatever. It's above the lips, so yeah. So you see, I'm kind of making little tweaks here and there. I will add a bit of a meat in here. I will push the corners of the mouth inward with my damn standard brush. And she's starting to kind of look fine. I will even add a bit of a detail, although I'm not supposed to do this. I mean, we don't need that detail yet because we don't have a good eyes still the eyes are kind of bad we have to fix them more so for the eyes always always try for the inner corner of the eye let me just do this yeah this looks very i always do this you know i always do uh what is this this is the kind of the inner part of the skull here you can see it and mm, you always can feel this is the corner of the skull it's around here and then above it we have fat which are uh, sometimes this fat is pronounced and it's kind of more water in there and it becomes this kind of a uh, uh, bags below the eyes and above that bag we have the uh, lower eyelid which always is kind of going inward here below it we will make it the lower eyelid and this is the top and then I will smooth a little bit and yeah it looks a little bit odd because we have to kind of push it we have to make the thickness by the way eyelids are pretty thick many people are making them super thin but they have a good nice thickness which we kind of should address if we make them too thin they will not look good we when we're sculpting or even drawing them we should make them thicker than they really are a little bit thicker and they are not super thin because this skin here on the eyelid it's protecting the whole eye so it's uh, kind of thick it's not super thin we have to be careful and also the, uh, the the inner corner of the eye should be lower than the upper corner of the eye and this will give us this kind of a cat eye look which is kind of attractive I may say so the the woman will look more like a cat which i like since i like cats maybe i'm not sure if this is relevant but yeah it's nice of course this is not uh, what uh, everyone should look for uh, in a woman there are many attractive females or women's women's <laughs> women <laughs> women's is very nice by the way women that they have uh, not exactly this feature but most of the time it could be it should be like this so the inner corner and the outer corner is so you see this is the plane of the inner corner this is the plane of the outer corner they have a little bit of a deviation and the outer corner is more up yeah those kind of things and also from the front view uh, I noticed something I don't know if you notice but you always should notice that the ears are too big they should start in the line of the nose so where the nose is and now our ears are at yeah, the bottom of the nose our ears are ab a little above it uh, below it and they should end around the eyebrow line so we should kind of lift the whole ear up and it will be kind of nice let's lift it up up more up now it looks better i think bigger ears you know uh 
ears, if they're bigger or they're not so big, it doesn't matter too much for the for the beauty of a girl. I mean, big ears also are attractive, no problem. But big chin, for example, can ruin your day. I mean, you see, it's not... Uh, we have to make a little bit like thinner chin, not so pronounced in here. Maybe push this a bit. And I'm looking for this uh, average attractive girl, which we shouldn't be able to make for this amount of time, of course, because it will take more time. I noticed that if I spent around, uh, now I'd spent around half an hour on this. And it's uh, it's kind of starting to look good. But if I spend half an hour more, it will be better, much better. So let's kind of spend more time. Yeah, let's uh, inflate this a little bit with uh, the standard bridge, just uh, add more meat. And I have to tell you about something. It's very important. It's very important that uh, from the front view, look at my face from the front view. What do you see? You don't see the beginning of my ears when I'm facing the camera straight. You don't see the beginning. Why? Because the face is going out and then going in a little bit just before the ears. It's going in like this. So, it's going in. That's why when we sculpt, we just kind of push this in like this. Not too much. Just a little bit so we don't see the beginning of the ear from the front. We don't need to see that. Not that it's something uh, ridiculous or something. We just uh, we don't need to see it. It's just like that. So sometimes the nose of your character will be too big. We can just dial it down. Sometimes it will be too wide. You can dial it down. It's not good. So we have to be careful with that. But uh, yeah, we have to smooth the upper nostril. Sometimes it's good to smooth it. Yeah, don't make, don't make this too pronounced here. No, just uh, make it and then smooth it. And then you can go with the, um, with your pinch brush and then smooth it again. And it's there, but it's not kind of in. It's just kind of a plane to plane. It's nice. So the lower eyelid, I made it too big. So I will go with my move brush and just move it up, make it a little bit less pronounced. Uh, when I've seen people that are kind of uh, photoshopping girls for magazines or something, they're almost removing this uh, lower eyelid, which is not uh, good. I mean, for the girl or even a face to look natural, it has to have this kind of a lower eyelid here. It's better. Let's see from the side. Okay. The lower eyelid still is uh, in front of the upper eyelid. So I will pull a little this and push this back. And then the eye, I will just lift it up and push it forward. So this eye, by the way, I have to, uh, I have to control Z and return back to the big eye. Uh, because, yeah, I have video about eyes, exactly. If you are curious about exactly, um, or more details about the eyeballs when sculpting, because it's super important about the eyes, uh, you can check out this video about the eyeballs that I have made. And also you can check out my newest course about the superhuman anatomy. Of course, it's not female anatomy, it's male, but still, I think it will be helpful for everybody. So. Let me push this below the cheek here and push this. And you see, we are getting this kind of a uh, cheek fat in, in this area. Let me show you. This here. This cheek fat. And yeah, we can have that. I mean, it's okay, but don't make too harsh lines in here. Never make them too harsh. It has to be just enough. It has to be just relax you know smooth it smooth everything and from the front I see my jaw area doesn't look as good so I will just pull this up pull this a bit and now it looks a bit better from the side view 
I noticed that my cheekbone is too pronounced. I mean, the cheek fat here is too much. I will push it a bit. Everything has to be in moderation. Of course, in the beginning, you probably will not know uh, what uh, to put in moderation and what not. So it, you have to develop this. But developing this will come with practice. So we have to practice. So now I don't particularly like how she looks yet. So I'll push a bit from the side here, just looking for uh, from the side view. Yeah, she's starting to look kind of good. But uh, from now on, just little changes will uh, make her look better. Just little tiny changes, little by little, it will be good. From the front view, or from the side view, maybe I will push the forehead a bit forward and the back also forward uh, because for the female the forehead is kind of going from if you see my head it's going from the eyebrows a little bit backwards like this for the female sometimes it goes completely vertical up and then goes back so that's why i'm doing this i think this will be better and also we can make a bit more narrow the area around the nose yes mm, yeah it's starting to look good let's uh, dial our eyes a little bit up just push them a little bit up and uh, yeah push a little bit here push a little bit there and uh, suddenly we will have something that resembles a female face really because before that it was this um, yeah let's see what we have uh, until now uh, I mean for 40 minutes even less we have from this this it's not bad but when you look from this this it's it's okay now we can stop yes but we might uh, have some other things to do just a little bit for example for the neck the neck is fine, I mean it's not bad, but we can even improve it. Control N. And now, what we can do. So, uh, this muscle here, which is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Mm, I know it. This, by the way, is, um, I always uh, like to say this muscle because it's kind of complicated name. Sternocleidomastoid, you say, wow, mouthful. Uh, how do I know it? Because cleidomastoid. This is the mastoid process here, which is attached, which this muscle is attached to. It's going from here down, like this. So in this area, it's pretty flat, and then it's going down. And uh, since it's pretty flat here, uh, it's not that flat in here, but it's starting to bulge a little bit, especially in the male. Of course, in the female, it will be there. It will make a form, but it will not be so pronounced. So we'd have to be careful about. It. And here, it kind of goes into two parts. One part connects to the sternum and the other parts to the clavicle sternum what is sternum sternum is this kind of bow tie here that you have that all the ribs are connected to they are connected to this sternum the bow tie thing and uh, also the clavicle or the collarbone which is this is connected to the sternum so sternocleidomastoid is because it's connected to the clavicle, to the sternum, and to the mastoid process of the mandibula or whatever, I'm not sure exactly. We can make an Adam apple here, but it will be wrong. And uh, the only females that have very pronounced Adam apple are in Thailand. You can kind of see them all around the Thailand. I've seen them, by the way, because I've been there. And it's, uh, it's their choice. It's okay. I don't care, uh, since they're not bugging me in any, in any way. It's fine. They are not really female if uh, somebody is not uh, exactly figuring it out already. They are a little bit like a shimel. But uh, yeah, if you don't look at this kind of clues, the Adam apple, the kind of not so uh, big thighs or um, the overall mm, pelvis is not that pronounced, then you can be in a tr in a lot of trouble, not a lot, but shame, a little bit of a shame. Yeah, that's, yeah. we have to be careful. So I don't still like 
around the mouth part here. Maybe the I made the chin area too small. Too small. Yeah, probably it's, we can make it a little bit bigger. Although uh, we have to be careful not to make it too big because then it will look like a male. So I just added a little bit on the side here. And it's kind of looking... Hmm, it's... It's fine. We don't care that much. Or we care? Who knows? So, let's see. Now, we have our face. Now, uh, maybe I could experiment by just taking my big move brush and move this back. Yeah, yeah, I think I like it more this way. So, sometimes your model will look like this. <laughs> from the front view, so it's, it's kind of nice. From the side view, it's not that nice. So you just need to kind of move this back with the big move brush from the side view, just a little bit, just kind of push it. And it will be okay. I will push the lower eyelid, I will push the upper eyelid outward. Here we have to have this kind of a triangle. And let's see. Okay, our eyes are here. And they are good. They're good looking. By the way, our eyes still may be a little bit too big. Let me see. Mm, yes, they are. They are a little bit too big even now. But what I will do, I will duplicate them. And I will go to Control Z. And leave the big ones here. They are like, uh, you see, they're pretty much like an alien. So be careful with the eyeballs. They can ruin your life. And I will take the bottom ones, which are mine, and make them even smaller. Yes. And I will put them more up. And now it's looking kind of better. But the eyelids should go around the eye and be in the kind of same position around the eye. I mean, the same distance. The distance shouldn't vary that much. And this lower eyelid I don't like also. And see, I'm using this resolution i'm not going over this resolution this resolution even in the beginning when when we had to make big changes is is big now it's okay and we can go even further but we we have to fix all the things first and then go further 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 it's creepy i know so continuing with this and she's starting to look nice. Uh, let me try something just to dial down the nose a little bit more. Yeah, with longer nose, she looks more like an uh, older person. I mean, like uh, 25 years old or 30 years old, which is kind of good. If you make the nose um, closer to the mouth, like, like this, for example, and uh, for example, big lips like this, and uh, fuller face <laughs> it will look like a fat person of course but uh, sometimes at some point it could look like a child and it was looking like a child if you remember oops not that much okay now it's fine let's not ruin it uh, for now maybe later we'll see okay i'm pushing just a little bit here and you see how we have this kind of thing going on and we have also these and we have also these but they are very very subtle so subtlety is everything here if you don't make it subtle it will be ugly so you have to be careful subtlety and even i can make it more subtle here by just flattening with my high polish brush high polish brush is great like i already already told you so i'm flattening and i'm smoothing and i'm going all in with that, I will flatten here, flatten the bottom, flatten this. You know, this is the base, of course. This is your um, beginning of the body. But uh, we don't need to just leave it as, as it is. We can flatten it a little bit, make it more like a sculpture. Just flatten the sides with a high polish brush and make it look more interesting forever. So now we have time. And what I'm, <laughs> what I like to do is make eyelets. How to make eyelets? I would, I will make a little bit of a stylized eyelets. I will not make uh, realistic eyelets. But let's see our girl from all directions. 
And for that to work, by the way, I have to now stop the video, go away from this for a few minutes, and then come back and see, aha, I have problems here and here. And I will not do that because mm, I don't have time for this now. <laughs> and probably you don't have time for this too. So I will just kind of try to do it. So for the for these lines, you see how everything is very smooth lines. Everything is smooth. Here even I made it not so smooth, but I will just smooth it a little bit more and it will be more smooth. Because female always is kind of smooth, you know, it's yeah, it's like the way it is. It's just the way it is. So now let's make the eyelets, the upper eyelets, only the upper eyelets I will make. Uh, this, then extract, accept, control shift click. And this is, by the way, my workflow of uh, Del Hidden. Zero mesh on the lowest thing. And then I'll just kind of try to push it and into place, which is... They're coming from the upper eyelid, of course. Eyelashes. Yeah, what I say, eyelids? No, eyelashes. I want to make eyelashes. And when I say eyelashes, I always remember one song from Bats for Lashes, I think was was the, called the, the Band or something. It's very nice. You can check it out. I haven't checked it out in a while. Uh, the, the clip of this song is a girl is riding a bike. Uh, they uh, photograph from the front and at some point while she's riding the bike behind her came out some rabbits riding bikes and it's very creepy by the way at some point but the song is pretty nice and the clip also is nicely done bats for lashes is uh, the name of the band i think and the song don't remember it but i think it's their most uh, fa famous probably song yeah so this will be our eyelashes. They could go, nah, they are curved, and they could go a little bit, you know, uh, the eyelid, then they go down and forward and up. And they will make this kind of interesting look for the eye. Of course, this is a stylized eyelash, uh, which is uh, nothing to worry about because stylization is good. I always like to make stylized models and I now make a lot of them for the game that we are releasing this month, by the way, Heroes of the Dark. Heroes of the Dark. It's pretty nice with vampires, with humans, with werewolves. Um, it's a mobile game, but also probably will be uh, in Steam and Windows. I'm not sure exactly if it will be this month for Steam and Windows, but for Android and Apple, it will be after uh, about uh, for the time for Halloween probably I will make white eyes with the toy plastic material I will make them a little bit like this fill object and fill it with also with the material fill it okay now good and now I will mask a little bit of area and inflate it and then smooth it. Ah, it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. All right. We have eyelashes. And of course, if we go ahead and mask a little bit here, just to have eyebrows. By the way, eyebrows are very important. If you don't make them on your model, it will look odd but if you make them in the wrong time before your model is kind of ready you may have the illusion that it's okay so i tend to make them last when i kind of see that everything else is kind of fine i made them last i can make a little bit of a uh, makeup here makeup in here and it's starting to look kind of nice uh, it's cheating by the way this makeup thing that i'm making because the the model that we're going from doesn't have this makeup so it's cheating we can go ahead and make uh the makeup for our previous one let's by the way okay i will put this in here hopefully my face wasn't um, 
affecting too much of my presentation, although I guess sometimes it was. But I'm sorry about that. I will put the face in here, that face that we'll make, we made now, Shift S to kind of save it. And then I will take this and let's make eyebrows and see if it will make any difference. Eyebrows. <sighs> Maybe mustaches. Oh no. Okay, eyebrows doesn't make too much of a difference. Let's make a little bit of a Mm. Makeup, maybe. Hmm, the makeup is kind of making a little bit, but you see, uh, the head seems like it's cut here. It doesn't have this kind of a nice curve, and the eyes are too low, you see, and uh, a lot of things are kind of messed up here. So uh, we have to be careful. I will control Z to remove those things, but um. The process of uh, recording this was very nice for me. Not recording, practicing for this. And uh, you, you don't, um, maybe you, you think that I will take your model, for example, this one, and I will start feedbacking it right away like I did here in this video, which is wrong. I practice, I study the model, I study what can be improved and why, and then I can make a video like this uh, because uh, otherwise it will not be nice. Let me show you what other heads I've made. So this is the main one. This is one of the heads I made before. This is one of the first ones, by the way. The second, third. This is not exactly right. Why? This has a mistake. Because uh, from the bottom view, the eyebrows shouldn't be like this. They should go back. They should go like this especially for the female, they should kind of go backwards like this. And this was making, uh, this is one of the things that they're making this model look bad. But I haven't spent too much time on any of this, like half an hour to an hour at most. Maybe even less. Next one. Wow, this is too white. So I can kind of feed back my own models too. This, this is a man. Yeah, too sharp um, kind of uh, things on the head. It's uh, it's um, almost like a male. This, this is not super bad by the way. Looking kind of fine. This also is a female, it's, it's fine. I'm starting to take it here, I'm starting to, you know, this is looking good. This is uh, <laughs> maybe we can improve it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, the the lips were a little bit strange. Maybe too close to the nose. Yeah, this looks kind of kind of nice. You see how I did the upper lip is in front of the lower lip. The lower lip is more back. If we do the opposite, for example. Oops. You know, she will not look that good. What's up? I'm the grandfather. The godfather. <laughs> not the grandfather. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. We it's it's fine like this. So this ah it has more work uh, need more work. This is kind of a I tried to make it more uh cartoonish. This is uh this was looking good when I did it. Now it uh, kind of needs to go back like this. Yeah, maybe now it's better. Maybe the nose could be smaller. By the way, uh, I've seen a lot of beautiful women that have big noses. I mean long noses, like longer like this. It's kind of nice, uh, but it's preference. I mean, yeah. This is one of my last ones. <laughs> Since I spent... A little bit more time, maybe hour and uh, 20 minutes or something. I just made this horns, which look kind of nice. I mean, and you notice how this is an organic form. So in organic, you don't make the horns the same size. You always make them kind of gradual, like from from big to, to smaller, smaller, smaller. And it looks kind of nice. But this was my last or one of the last before 
this was the last one i spent like 20 minutes on this at most and i even didn't fix the the geometry the the polygons and this was ours now which came out pretty nicely uh, yeah i have this look that when i'm making a video and i'm explaining it live it's not live exactly because i'm recording it but when i'm explaining it most of the time i make the best result and also this uh, is um, true for my for my uh, courses that i sell and you can check out the links in, in the description of course if you're interested about my courses if you already not know them most of you probably already know them of course and most of you pro probably already have them which is good so yeah okay let's make this as a oh where are our eye, uh, eyelashes okay they're here nice uh, let's just make this into a video and put it in YouTube and uh, hopefully it will be great for you guys and uh, girls even which I haven't seen too much girls in my channel but uh, probably there are who knows and this will be it for our current video it looks yeah, she looks kind of nice. Maybe the, the ears could go a little bit more forward. The head. Yeah, there are a lot of small things that we can do before even starting to add detail. And maybe the neck is too long, but uh, it's kind of nice to have this long leg, uh, long neck, even if it's not exactly possible or not. Uh, yeah. So ears important nose important eyes also important mouth very important everything is important by the way you, you cannot kind of make um, a head without making some of the things right you have to make everything right otherwise otherwise uh, you will get something like this not like this this is one of my model this yeah so let's see this is our model that we made now or i made maybe yeah maybe i and this is the previous one let's put the eye yeah eyelashes also are nice okay 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 so bye for now and see you in the next video uh, i have to make a video about uh, legs anatomy in my channel and about feet anatomy which will kind of conclude all the anatomy videos maybe that I have made and then we can concentrate on something else probably some character making fast character making we'll see I'm pretty fast by the way I can make a character in one hour uh, but uh, you will see that probably in some other video bye for now